Hey guys, this is Coach Chris. Welcome to my channel where we break down international level fights for strategies and tactics that you can use in your own matches. Uh, today we're breaking down Ireland's Jack Woolley against um, Denise Dagdalen from Turkey. Uh, I haven't really watched him fight before, but let's get into it. Turkey with the aggression. Turkey is a pretty strong team. Jack Woolley's an Olympian. For those of you guys who don't know, his ability with this front leg is ridiculous. Like, super good. Right there. Nice try by Turkey to get around that front leg. Ball the inside. You have something you have to watch for with the Wooly is his inside um, behind the head kick. Tuck one of things. Turkey trying to get on the inside to find where an opening might be because at range, Jack's front leg is really, really good. A lot of dynamic stuff. Nice to have that there. Good flip kicks as a block. Ooh, very nice. And scores on the inside. Nice. So this kind of works really well because I covered Jane June last week. So um, information known already and kind of seen in the matches. Jack Woolley's front leg. Uh, where's my epic pen? Jack Woolley's front leg is really, really good and really dynamic. So his strongest point is going to be at range. So what? Hello, epic pen. Um, so what Turkey wants to do is if he's not the one, you can kind of watch this in the match. If he's not the one who occupies this middle space first then he doesn't engage. So what Turkey does to make sure he's safe is, you can see him on these last two or three attacks, he lifts his leg up first and then scoots in with his knee up the way Jang Jun does against Russia. He's not first, he doesn't, he doesn't worry about it. He just resets the distance and prepares to go in. When he goes in here, he goes in with his knee up and that's, just to prevent Jack Woolley's front leg from coming up. Because if that's there, Jack has to throw his leg in a weird way around, try and go around that way. Um, or he has to try and throw it in a weird way. So that kind of negates his uh, really strong front leg. And then Turkey can go on the inside and capitalize that way. So if he hasn't catch on the trend, this happened um, the last two or three engages just right here. Is that He's coming in with that front leg. Um, not as high as I think maybe he should for safety. Uh, but I'm not the one fighting. I'm not the one making the call. But he comes in with that leg up to occupy the space where Jack would have to throw the kick. So he's in. Oh, he scored again. Sorry, this is. I thought I rewound. I guess he didn't. He did the exact same thing before and just did it again just now. Boom. I completely missed the head kick. I thought we were rerounded. Apparently not. In. Covers the distance. Body. Oh, two body shots. Two body shots? Weren't you ahead by three? How did... When does he score? Oh, oh, that, okay. The doubles to the face. I thought that double just hit him in the chest. So um, after he closes the distance, Jack is strong on the inside, but not as deadly as when he's outside. He can do all the crazy crap with his front leg. So Turkey knows that he's strong on the, stronger on the inside, rather, and higher chance of scoring. Capitalizes here by following up. Hits him in the face with that double kick. And forces outside. Good stuff. Nice aggression out of Turkey. So for those of you who don't know, uh, you can't you can push someone outside and kicking, and if you're pushing and to kick at the same time, then it counts as them falling out of bounds. But because in this instance Turkey was pushing and didn't kick, it you can't just shove people continuously out of the match because then Taekwondo is gonna just like disintegrate into sumo wrestling. So uh, that's why Blue got the warning. Nice return by Jack there. So you notice here too, um, I believe, pushing out of bounds. I don't know if he tries to counter him here. No, uh, but this one he tried to, he tried to uh, just reset the distance, but misgaged it, almost got hit. I was trying for cancels, so adapting a little bit. Oh, that's a crazy front leg. Good job by Turkey here. So the entire game plan is slip past the front leg and then score on the inside. It's not slip past the front leg and clinch. Um, there's a lot, you can see, um, just even just rewind this first match, there's a lot of times where Turkey gets in and kicks multiple times because he knows that's where he can score. 
Gonna try it, gonna try again, good. Nice stuff, good stuff. Way to work him. Nothing against Jack, he's just doing a good job dodging that crazy front leg and getting in. That's where you don't wanna be. You don't want Jack to be able to fly at your head like that uh, because he has, he can hold that leg up forever. What? They took it. They took the the headshot away. Oh, oh, this is video replay and ads. Play the ad. Look, it's working. He thinks that's a video game. He's learning. How do you? And he doesn't even. Here we go. The video replay. Video replay. Go back to the. Oh, oh. Denied. Whose card was that? I don't know. Don't want to play at range against Jack. That's that's where all those flip head kicks come in. No. Oh. Okay. So Jack's adaptation um, is just for volume. Jack's adaptation is he knows this guy is trying to just reset on the first slide, and that's where Jack's game is, and he wants the guy to stand there so he can do all the flip kicks. So in to adjust to that, Jack's going in with really deep heavy attacks. So that way, uh, because he knows the guy's mostly likely slide back, he's not challenging Jack enough in place for Jack to throw the short case. He just, the he's kind of read the guy's game that this guy's moving back on my motions, so go heavy on the attacks. Um, and he's down, so that's part of it. But good, good adjustment by Jack here to start going in more often. Up, 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 up. Good aggression. So, nice. Oh, God. Score. So, just as a testament to, to Wooly here, like, look how many different angles he tried to bring his leg up, and Turkey did a good job shutting it down. Said, so you're not dealing with it. Boom, boom. He's on the inside. One, two. Like, it's it, that that right leg is coming up in some, some way, somehow. It's going to try and come up. Good try by Turkey after close, shutting that down, trying to get some points. That a little bit. They're not really sure. Oh, whoa, he scored. Long head kicks. So he's going in with those long head kicks. Points. Any points? Oh, blue scored. On the inside. Nice. Same game plan overall, just dodge that front leg like as if it's so easy. Wow, work him. Oh, oh, and there's a behind the head kick. That is great. Um, great job both sides here. Turkey good, doing a great job weathering the storm of that front leg and finding opportunity to get inside scores of points. And Jack knowing that one of the one of the biggest things that's gonna counter that front leg is the um, is a punch. He has that little Whip scorpion kick from behind. Good job. Good job, both sides. Nice. Gauge the distance, closed it right after. Find space. Try again. Oh, it doesn't want to. Doesn't want to push it. Keep him on the edge. Nice punch. I like this little move here. Um, this is very subtle. I don't know if you guys caught this here. So watch, number one, watch how low he gets, and then two, watch his front hand, and maybe the circle. Um, watch his front hand and see how close he gets to Jack's leg before going in for the punch. Really, really sneaky. Uh, make sure I have this correct. So the reason he's this low, one is a little bit of a bait uh, because his head is low, and it's a... Um, uh, it's it's he's he's baiting kind of with the with his head low and two it's a new look so Jack's not really sure how to react to it. If Jack were to do an inverted like one of those inverted kicks right now that that really uh, screw up Turkey a little bit. But I want you to notice how when he steps in he gets low but also inches his front leg forward to eat some of the distance. So he eats some of the distance to get to reduce the amount of space Jack has to kick and then he shoves his hand up here right by Jack's knee.
And like, granted, you don't want to spar your whole match there because they're going to kick your hand and it's going to get blasted. But he does this to get close, get Jack close to Jackson in case he were to flip up during this little motion as as he gets closer. So he does this, eats the distance, blocks the leg. And then goes in for the punch. And there's no space. There's not enough space for Jack to kick in that space. So really good job of on the reset, getting low, getting that hand really, really close to that guy's leg. So there's not enough space to move. Dehun does this a lot also. If you uh, Not as much in his recent ones, but um, 20, I believe 2015 through 2017, 2018, you can see him a lot uh, when he's guarding or he's checking someone. He'll, he'll stand up. And he'll he'll just have his hand out like I can't t- show on the camera, but he has his hand out and it's to block that front leg. So good job here. To, he didn't get a point, or maybe it sets up for a point, but good job of him sneaking in here. Nice little uh, cheeky tactic. Dude, this kid's doubles to the face. I love it. Some old school Taekwondo going on. Didn't hit the face one, but hit the body. Oh, Dex got you on the edge. Okay, okay. Going to third round. Uh, let's see here. Let's see where the judgments. Well, Blue's game plan is working. Dodge, I mean, it sounds so simple, but the, the small nuances he's doing to get in and around that front leg are uh, great. Blue's doing a good job either letting Jack extend, and then he closes after. He's doing a good job doing what Jinsei Obeo does. Comes in with, kind of with that leg um, up with that knee. So it should be, in my opinion, maybe a little bit higher to guard himself to close the distance to get in. Now he's sneaking with some punches and... He's also doing good stuff, uh, moving the leg one way or the other and slipping it right after Jack overshoots. So good job here by Turkey. Uh, Jack's doing a great job trying to adapt as well. Uh, his front leg is super dynamic, and he noticed that uh, Turkey wasn't moving back, so he's drawing for those longer shots. And in a lot of the other scenarios, I'm not commentating on it too much because Jack's game is... I mean, he's been to the Olympics, I think, once or twice already. So, And this guy's super good. His front leg is super dynamic. It's like a giant noodle. So it's hard for me to commentate strategically on that because it's like a, it's a unique weapon, I guess. And he's doing a good job implementing it whenever he can. You can see that behind the head kick. You can see uh, his adaptation. I think that is nice though, as he knows someone's going back. So the obvious adaptation is to kick longer and he's scored multiple headshots with that. A noodly leg. Job. So part of Jack's game plan is to try and get someone on the edge and keep them there while he's flipping his leg around because he knows that his front leg is stronger and uh, more dynamic. So he, he wants to, ideally he wants to keep this guy here and have a little foot fence war so that way he can score points that way. Blue uh, is having no part of that and is trying to get in to make sure that he doesn't... That's that's exactly what I'm talking about. He um, doesn't have that. Here, knee up, close the distance, get in there. And try and use that inside game because that's where, um, number one, his bullets or his doubles are really, really good. And that's where he can maximize. Oh, the score here soon. Boom. Great stuff, dude. Comes in with that leg up. Um, I don't know if Jack may not have thrown it here because a lot of the game plan so far has been Turkey gets inside and... Um, gets position and then tries to score so jack may see this and just be prepping for the clinch already and defense which is i mean granted it's not like he's a novice this guy's good so turkey's setup before this was to do that use this leg get inside and fight like junsei obey does or i mean turkey maybe junsei obey is fighting like this guy get inside um and then work him in the clinch now this thing was instead of putting it down he's going to try and flip for the face which caught jack by surprise and me by surprise so good good adaptation Boom, boom. Oh, there's a perfect example. Sorry. So rewind one more time just so you guys see. Here. Oh, no, never mind. He attempted. He had, He actually attempted to score before. I thought he was going to do the full clinch and the reset. But he did do a good job doing it to the body first and then doing the same exact thing but changing targets. So same look, different target, yields good results. I've been harping on that progression stuff for a long time. Let's give him the same look but adapt to his adaptation. I 
I think. There's a lot of clinching going on. Uh, maybe start kicking short or fading as a jack adjustment. Yep. Yeah, oh, there's a fade. Um, so now that he's caught on, Turkey may change it and start going not as committed. Ooh. Good try. This is where Jack wants him. Okay. Tur Turkey closed it. Looking for that punch. And behind the head kick. Good stuff both sides. Not too much to commentate on there. Um, Jack, the reason Jack's fading is because uh, fading in terms of like distance, not fading like stamina wise. He's fading because he knows Turkey's trying to close. So keep space between him and the guy and uh, kick. And then right after that, he launched a good offensive here, trying to keep him in the corner, trying to use a flip kicks to find a hole in the guy's defense. Luckily, uh, this guy's really good. So no points had, but he did try and set up for the behind the head head kick, which I thought was pretty sneaky. Oh, nice back leg. That's nice, nice body shot there. So it seems like what makes Jack so deadly is that he has this unique front leg going on. Um, I don't watch too much of Jack's fights. I watch every now and then. I've seen his warm-ups, and that guy is like a different level of athlete. Um, but what makes Jack so deadly is that he's able, for the most part, I mean, here, Turkey's doing a good job trying to maximize. And I think maybe not too many people are fighting in the clinch the way Turkey does, which may be why Jack didn't have an answer for it, this one. But one of the big answers is that punch. And he 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 has the same answer Penny Pack has, which is to wrap around behind the head as a punch is coming in. So it's a one for three trade for him versus uh, not. The other uh, thing that makes Jack deadly is his front leg in the mid and long range distance is crazy, crazy good. So which is why... For the most part, Turkey's trying to deny those situations. He's trying to either reset or he's trying to close all the way in so he can fight on the inside where he has a little bit more superiority. And it's paying off. So good job. Good fighting both sides here. Oop, fade. That, okay. Where is this going? What? Oh, they're calling it okay. So they're calling him because um, they're calling it leg checking. He's not. It doesn't look like he has the intent to kick. Which I mean, that's true. Nice body shot there. Okay. Good stuff here. Um. So that was that was tied game because of the wording. Boom in the clinch. Nice try to follow up here. And uh, I don't know how to do the bicycle behind the head scorpion kick, so I don't teach it. And. I've seen a lot of people do it when they're down by a few points. And this is like a 1 in 50 attempt that I've seen connect. Uh, no, actually, no. Maybe I'll say like 125. Most of the time, people throw this kick. They don't hit. And yeah, it is a bailout kick. But there's also 30 seconds left. But good job for Jack for actually landing this. Oh, did they? Did they uh, they're not going to count it? Oh, man. So I think in order for it to count, he has to make sure there's contact to the head before the foot hits the before con, there has to be head contact before the the hand hits the ground. I think. Oh, and there was. I think they're gonna leave it. Yeah, so they're gonna leave it. So that's that's why it counts is because he didn't. Um, Jack made sure to keep his hands in as he's falling, so that way the leg makes contact with the head first before his hand touch. So it counts as a valid point. Bread and butter, man. Just straight in there for... What's this for? Maybe for rest. Um, bread and butter just break the defense. What I'd be scared of right now is he just tried that play, which was great, great adaptation. But now Jack knows that's coming. So there may... I would almost motion first to see if I can bait out a kick and then close. Uh, but they may just go to sudden death. Oh, nice try by Jack here. So knowing he was... So the mental chess match that may have may have happened, or I could just be guessing, was um, Turkey just tried to do a blitz. Jack knows the blitz is coming, so he, it looks like he tried to um, catch him off guard, like right in place, right when the ref started, before Turkey was able to get his leg up and move forward. Yeah, so nice try here. Oh, underneath. Get past that front leg. Oh! Oh my god, he got it. Nice try by Blue. In. Just unable to. 
Okay, two points down. How do you solve this as Turkey? Well, as Jack, you can just do a jump and cut, I guess, but you only have two points, so jump forward and cut. As Turkey, man, you got to get inside and hit one of those doubles again, I think, is the key. How's that front leg? Double. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, <laughs> he hit it. Nice. So the setup, um, Turkey's doing a good job of doing this. This is so I'm talking about progressions. It's the same look. Uh, you you do the same. You give him the same. You do one thing. You give him the same look on the second time, but you either change target or you adapt to what he's adapting. You adapt to his adaptation. So in this one, he went for the body. Out of bounds. So he goes for the body. It's blocked. He uses that same leg motion and goes to the head. Boom. Nice hit. Evades. Oh, and the dodge a spin. That's it. Well played. Well played by uh, Turkey here. Well played. Um, great game plan. Just dodge that front leg. Jack's a... I can't, I mean, this whole time I'm coaching kind of against Jack, but it's because Jack's a phenomenal, phenomenal fighter. I have great respect for his athletic ability. He's went to the Olympics twice. That guy is crazy good. Uh, this Turkey guy, I haven't really seen too many of his fights. I, I watched more of a Ruckber um, fight. But this guy, great job being on the inside. I like his doubles. I like that he dodges the front leg. Um, those sneaky punches were pretty good too. And uh, something I've noticed with Turkey was a lot of it was same motion, different targets. So and that one just here and to the body was same motion and then reset and go, went to the head. So the, the knee up looks the same, but he went to the head. The other one where he scored that face kick was um, motion, motion, motion. He tried to kick the body, went down. On the reset, he went right away for motion, 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 and then flicked for the face. So good job showing the same look and then adapting or changing target. Um, a lot of, and then there's a lot of stuff like in, in the clinch where there's doubles and all that good stuff. So great job by Turkey, uh, doing all of that. And I think that's what won him the game. So that's it for today, guys. Uh, and I'll catch you guys next week.